All right, look, I'm not trying to say that you people might need new hobbies, because this is probably my fault and my bad influence, or should I say, my chaotic science influence, uh, but we're back with none other than the blurst miniature giraffe. Yes, 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 the, the very blurst creature that is our miniature giraffe, because so many of you guys requested that we go ahead and actually take a little peek at what the giraffes are doing because why not <laughs> but truly my friends hello and welcome back to our sims 4 laboratory challenge where yes we are taking a break from the giraffes that are short neck giraffe horses cough cough uh and we're popping back over to our miniature blurst giraffe so which i really think that blurst giraffe now needs to permanently be the name of this species and you know what you know what i take it back i think that all of you have just simply absorbed some of my essence of adventure because yes indeed the blurst giraffe does give you some very interesting options when you have the offspring mixed with them. So uh, yeah, yeah, uh, this is this is gonna be interesting. I'm kind of bracing myself, especially considering that Harpy Darpy the Blur Giraffe uh, with some of the custom content, once again from Kalino, in case you guys are wondering how we made this creature. Uh, well, I, I, I just wanna put credit where credit is due. Once again, I want you guys to know I didn't make this guy. Uh, actually, Sherezabeth did. And Shrezabeth, this is still one of the most amazing blurst creatures I have ever had. And I love them. I sincerely do love them. And when you combine her wonderful work with the fantastic custom content that Kalino created, mostly the mane, and we actually have the hooves and a little horse tail over here, well, you end up with an even more blurst giraffe who does have some very unique genetic components that our little crossbreed might go ahead and inherit, inherit today. A whole litter of crossbreeds actually, which I, I don't know if Collins the Greyhound is really excited about that, but I don't really think he understands what's going on because in my mind, Collins the Greyhound was brought in by one of you as our laboratory assistants. Uh, and, um, yeah, I, 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 for some reason when I look at Collins, especially because he is a stubborn, independent troublemaker, all I can imagine is like all of you came into the lab today to put on your safety goggles, put on those lab coats, and uh, go ahead and break out those like notes that you're going to be writing. And hopefully, I don't know, some more protective gear. <laughs> And I just love the idea that, you know, you can bring your pets to work at the laboratory. And if one of you, raise your hand if you have a greyhound, has a very stubborn greyhound who has currently stuck his little half brindled body, like his little head into a trash can and is currently just like chomping down on something that was left in there. Little does he know we're going to sneak up behind him and pluck some of his fur to grab some of that wonderful greyhound DNA. And we're going to throw it into a Petri dish to see what happens when you mix together a blurst giraffe and a greyhound. I'm bracing myself. I am so bracing myself. <laughs> but all right, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's start tossing those jeans into the Petri dish by pulling up some of the random comments from the random comment generator using your guys' comments from our previous laboratory videos to turn you into a blurst Greyhound, I, uh, I'm sorry, but you willingly signed up for this, so, <laughs> Aww. so hello and welcome, welcome to little Zimri. So Zimri, so far so good. When you grow up, we'll have to go ahead and see if the dice of destiny are going to determine uh, whether or not you end up actually inheriting the mane, the horsetail, the hooves. You know, maybe the head. I'm a little worried about that, but we'll have to see what happens. And Zimri, you happen to... Oh, look at that. Playful. A little bit of a glutton. A little independent. I don't know if you eat, like, rose bushes or if you eat dog chow, but maybe it's good to have a slightly omnivorous diet. Uh, and I'm a little nervous because look at the size of the head, you guys. I think that Zimri is going to inherit that giraffe head, and I'm bracing myself for it. <laughs> 
<laughs> but thank you so much, Zimri. And I'm so glad that you are enjoying many of the different types of horses that The Sims 4 actually has. I am enjoying mixing all of them together too. I hope to do some more unicorn DNA pretty soon. Also, Collins, uh, we're just going to grab some more of your DNA, whip it together again, and then dun 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 dun. <laughs> And now we have actually got little Nat. Oh, look at the coloration. That's really cute. So Nat, welcome, welcome. And horse riding tails, huh? Siri, can you please play horse riding tails? That rings a bell, um, but not like a Eureka bell. I can't remember where I've heard that. Is that one of the mobile games? We'll have to look into it, because there's a lot of horse games going around right now, and I'm enjoying them, of course. And Nat, you are going to be an active, vocal, and adventurous... Let's see. Grahound? Draft? Drowned? Let's see. I'm trying to think. Graf? A graf, I suppose, because you do kind of have like a gray coloring. Uh, and we'll have to see whether or not you're going to grow up to be absolutely terrifying, or if you're going to be quite adorable. All right, and then next up we have got, dun, 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 dun. All right, all right, oh my gosh, that's really cute. I hope we get some more brindle patterning. <gasps> okay, okay, our very first actual giraffe patterned little one, and this is actually going to be a little boy named Breadstick. Debbie, what a great name suggestion, like Breadstick. That's adorable. I need to actually name one of our animals in our Sims 4 Legacies Breadstick because that is so freaking cute. And Breadstick, Debbie, your little your little one is going to be stubborn, hairy, and kind of jumpy. The idea of a jumpy giraffe actually seriously amuses me. And now I kind of want to do like a giraffe and a gazelle crossbreed and see what happens. We'll have to think about that for the future. But all right, let's pull up the next little one playing with all of this DNA, pulling up the next comment. Dun, 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 dun. And then, oh, that's really cute, Pup, too. Now we have, oh, hello, we've got another little one. This one's going to be a female, according to the Dice of Destiny, named Honeybee. Honeybee, welcome, welcome. Oh, I almost put Honeybell. Now, Honeybell, oh my gosh, I'm writing that down. That's actually a really good name, like Honeybell. I really like that name. I never, never have actually thought of those words put together like that, but it makes a beautifully adorable name. Uh, and Honey Bee, you are going to be a friendly, active, and quite stubborn little greyhound? Greyhound? Uh, Greyhound? is the only thing I seem to be able to pronounce, so I'm just going to roll with it. And then, uh, so there is apparently a Minecraft mod with horses you want me to try called Swin. Hmm. All right. I went ahead and I wrote it down. Also, you have aw. So you actually have a white and orange paint horse named Cheddar. Aw. Okay, Honeybee. I'm gonna call this one Honeybee Cheddar, because that's actually really cute. <laughs> and we're gonna have to see if you grow up to be a Blurst Giraffe or if maybe. Um, I'm not really sure how this is going to turn out, but I mean, you guys asked so much for the Blurst Giraffe, and so here we are. Not that I'm complaining. You guys know I love how absolutely random everything can get. And then the next little one is also going to be a female according to the Dice of Destiny. <gasps> Look at the little spots. And this is going to be Kit Cat Kitties. I, I think that's like three cat alliterations in a row, more or less, or like synonyms in a row. Uh, and you know what? Fittingly, Kit Kat Kitties is going to be a sleuth who is vocal and loyal. Aww, that's really sweet. I wonder if you're going to grow up to have the big head. I'm, I'm looking at that forehead kind of, kind of side-eyeing it with concern, but I'm sure you're going to be absolutely precious, Kit Kat Kitties. Don't you worry. I'm, I'm sure everything's going to turn out fine. <laughs> Wait, have you guys seen this trap? Oh my gosh. Oh, I almost feel like I need to go ahead and restart our Sims 4 um, Wild Thornberry legacy or challenge that I was doing with Eliza Thornberry and just have her have a bunch of these exotic animals like on some sort of, I don't know, like rescue farm or something. And it could just be like 101 random animals. We could do llamas, cows, all sorts of weird crossbreeds. Okay, that actually sounds amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta write this down too. What? You guys are just such good inspiration, I swear. All right, let's pull up the next little Petri dish and the next random comment. And then we're going to have... You guys ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, oh, 
okay, that nose, I think, is giving away how big and little Cheyenne's head is going to be. Cheyenne? Well, uh, or Shiany? Cheyenne? I apologize if I pronounce your name wrong. Trust me, I do it the same with Pokemon and dinosaurs and apparently horse breeds. <laughs> But Shiny, you are going to be a friendly, jumpy sleuth who's probably into all sorts of trouble. And I have to say, your head sort of reminds me of like Clifford the Big Red Dog at the moment, which makes me realize we've never actually done anything with, say, Clifford the Big Red Dog. Um, does, does, is Clifford still around? Or, or, or is that a relic of my childhood? I have to just stare into the distance at the moment and really contemplate the way that time and fictional puppies move on. Well, all right, all right. Okay, deep breaths, everyone. I'm sure this is going to be completely fine. And when we go ahead and grow these little ones up, we are not going to be reeling back in terror. We're going to be ooing and aahing over how absolutely adorable they are. All right, the dice of destiny are rolled and prepared to go ahead and bestow upon these little ones the three possible things they could inherit as custom... <clears throat> Uh, they could inherit extra from our Blurst Giraffe, the mane, the horsetail, and the hooves. So, Zimri, you're up first. Okay, deep breaths. Okay. All right. Wait, okay, we can- no? Come on, guys. Come on. Hold it together here. Hold it together. We, we, we can handle this. We can handle this. <laughs> Um, okay, so Zimri, you happen to have the, uh, oh, also you need the muzzle as well, just remembered. Uh, you do happen to have the, the mane, and you also happen to have the horse tail, actually. I know you have a lovely dragon tail there, but you actually inherited the horse tail, and you did not inherit the hooves. So, if you really looked closely, you might think this is just a, a puppers who was hanging around. Oh my gosh, <laughs> the more I look at you. Oh my gosh, this this reminds me of every now and then when my husband Chips and I are on our walks, we'll see a great blue heron just like sitting in the creek by the side of our, our park. And when a great blue heron stares at you head on, all you see is this skinny stick that has like very yellow eyes staring right at you. And that's kind of what Zimri is reminding me of until you turn to the side. And I... Um, I don't know, like some sort of like punk rock band? Zimri, I think you would be adopted by a punk rock band. They would love to have you. I mean, you would be, you would be world famous mascot. I swear, for like punk rock. Look at you, look at you, you're ready to go. <laughs> okay, okay, this is good, this is good. We got a lot of that out of our system now. Nat, let's go ahead and grow you up and see what a blur giraffe and a greyhound baby would have. Okay, okay, oh, okay. I was gonna, okay, okay. You know, I was gonna say a little bit more balanced, but I've, you know, here we are. Uh, and actually you happen to just naturally inherit the horse tail. Uh, and then you did not get a mane, little gnat, but you did end up with hooves. So there is that. Maybe they'll help you run faster. Like maybe that'll be a little bit of a perk for you. There you go. There you go. Okay. Wow, the legs are really disproportional. It kind of reminds me of a little T-Rex with the tiny arms. All right. <laughs> breadstick. 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 Oh, breadstick. Let me get the dice of destiny ready, and we're going to go ahead and see what you actually inherited, my friend. And the answer is... Oh, little floppy ears! Little floppy ears, and if we squint, maybe we can pretend there's nothing wrong with your eyes. You did, oh, okay, that's actually kind of cute. Why is that actually kind of cute? Is it the little loppy ears? <gasps> you guys, we should do one of the bunnies and like some of the dogs that have like a basset hound, a bunny and a basset hound, because the basset hounds have such big ears. Oh my gosh, I'm putting that down on the list because that would be so much fun to see. Bunny and basset hound, it's on the list. And Breadstick, you did not inherit the mane and uh, you did not inherit the hooves actually, but you did inherit the horse tail. So let me go ahead and get you set up with that. There you are, my friend. And you know, you know, there's a lot going on here. But again, again, Blur Strath, what do you expect? Kinda cute, kinda cute. Kind of cute. Hmm. Well, you know, <laughs> I was thinking maybe we could put something on Breadstick's head that could kind of hide the the second pair of eyes. So now we have a four-eyed. 
<laughs> we have a four-eyed dog. Oh, this isn't Wobble Dogs. Oh no. What have we done? Honeybee Cheddar, you're up next. Oh my. Okay, Honeybee Cheddar. Interesting blend. Interesting blend we have here. Uh, and you actually happen to be, uh, I can kind of squint and pretend that you don't have four eyes. You did inherit the muzzle, the mane, the tail, and the hooves. So you're like trying to put on as much giraffe possibility as possible, like all the way down. I have to applaud like your, your deep efforts in this field. Uh, let me even give you the little tail. Like you got it all. You got it all and you're trying your best not to be a thing of nightmares and dreams. And you know what? And actually, if you really squint right now from this angle, it, the honeybee chatter doesn't look so bad. I mean, not that any of them look bad, of course. Not at all. Not at all. But I mean, seriously, like, that's that's doable. Good job, honeybee. Kit, cat, kitties. Let's go ahead and see what you've got to surprise us with. <gasps> you've actually got a really cute face. Those small eyes somehow just worked out well for you. And you, my friend, actually ended up with the tail and the hooves, but not the face. So let me go ahead and add on that little muzzle really quickly. Oh my gosh, we probably should go ahead and get some more of um, some more of the toothless dragons. Oh my gosh, yes, we need more of the toothless dragons. What am I doing? Not just doing dragons all week long. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, note to self, we'll be doing that. Um, we will be doing that. Not right now, though. Not right now. That's not that, that that's not inside of our gene pool this time around. Uh, but let me go ahead and grab that. Uh, let's see. You got. Yeah, you did not get the muzzle, you did not get the mane, but you did get the tail and you got the hooves. That's what you inherited. I had to double check real quick. Oh, look at those petite little hoofy feetsies. That's actually really cute. Good job, Kit Kat. And, okay, let's just be ready. Shy Shiny, let's do this. Oh, wow. Well, you know? Sometimes you just gotta do what you just gotta do. And you, my friend, didn't hear it, the muzzle, the mane, the tail, but not the hooves. So let me get you, let me get you set up. Cause this is, this is, oh my gosh, look at the nose now. It's so pinched down. Okay, let's see if I can find something that seems to suit you pretty well. Um, I think that actually this one is gonna be fine. Oh. You look like somebody, you know, you know when you're like at the very, 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 very back of a dog shelter and you find a dog who's really unique looking and has been back there forever and just has like a mystery history. Uh, that's what, that's what I think we have here with little Shani. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? It's amazing. You just wouldn't expect anything else from our science experiments, right? Right? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, you asked for it, and we delivered. Our Blair Straff family has gone ahead and had quite the collection. So, if you guys could think up some more crossbreeds. Actually, you know what? Mm, Kit Kat Kitties turned out really cool. Uh, I mean, all of them did, of course. Of course. <clears throat> But if you could think of any more suggestions for our crossbreeds, then do keep those comments coming down in the comment section below so that you too could one day possibly grow up to become a blurst giraffe, or maybe we'll just pick, what What are the two cutest things you can possibly think of? Like a uh, uh, panda and a Pomeranian? Oh, we've done that one before, but it's really cute. Maybe we'll have to do it again as a palate cleanser. <laughs> But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining us. And if you could, do please leave a like to help me toss some very heavily... I, what on earth would I even feed these guys? I probably need to get some sort of animal gastrobiologist specialist in here. Uh, anyway, uh, do please help me feed these ones with a little like. And if you would like to join us for this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!